and I picked up these two sticks and basically it's... Yo, what the f*** is that? Yo, over the last few weeks I've really been trying to wake up early in the morning, eat a nice simple and healthy breakfast to increase my muscle mass. And you can actually find the breakfast that I've been eating in my free diet plan, which you can get in the first link in the description below. And after that, I've really just been getting outside, coming into nature, places like this, to really just breathe in some fresh air and feel good and actually just feel like a bit of a human. And actually, you know what? I think I might move this camera a bit closer because I don't know how well you can see me. Um, so bear with me a second. Okay, cool. I think we're now in position for the rest of this video. Now, since I've been coming out into nature early in the morning and really just spending some time breathing in some fresh air, I really truly feel like my mood has drastically improved. And you might be able to tell, maybe you can't, but either way, I just feel so much better in myself for just coming outside and feeling connected with what I'm actually supposed to be doing as a human, which is not to be spending every living day breathing inside the four walls of my home and my room, and instead actually get outside and do what feels more in alignment with what it means to be a human being. And I find that the best thing about me doing this, the best thing about me coming outside and spending time in nature is that actually when I go back home the happiness that I currently feel now will actually last with me throughout the entire day whereas I find that when I used to wake up in the morning and just immediately go onto my phone and scroll the happiness would only be a temporary feeling and as soon as I turn my phone off I'd instantly be sad and I'd be sadder actually for the rest of the day. So essentially what I'm getting at here is do not go straight on your phone as soon as you wake up in the morning. Like you're not some kind of zombie. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you know how shit that is for your soul? Like you probably know it's a bad habit. You know you've been told it a million times before and you know deep down how bad it is. But literally how bad? How bad is it? Well, just think, first of all, it's an entire way to procrastinate from doing what's actually important in your day. So you might end up skipping things like fitness and exercise and eating healthy foods and doing important work because you get distracted easily by scrolling on your phone and you know one minute leads to an hour you know how it goes because you probably do it every single day not only that but of course you're then inserting shitty news into your brain you're inserting shitty mainstream media and propaganda into your brain stuff that doesn't serve you and actually makes you feel probably more negative in the long run you might not realize it but a lot of the stuff that you consume will enter your subconscious mind and it will play on you and it will actually control your thoughts more than you might realize so it's actually really important to ensure that if you are going to be consuming information and you are going to be consuming things online you're consuming stuff that makes you feel good some positive information you know it's difficult to find nowadays but you want to be staying as far away from the news and mainstream media and influences to be honest as much as you can because this stuff doesn't serve you and i found that when i would do that i would end up comparing myself to a lot of other people and feeling bad about myself and i would just continue this spiral of procrastination and actually it wasn't until i stopped doing that and really committed myself to coming outside and just not going anywhere near my phone in the mornings to realize that it's really funny because humans seem to be the only animal that will know something is bad for us but yet will continue to do it you have this in intuitive feeling that going on your phone is bad because you feel it inside and you feel guilty for doing it and you don't really feel any goodness from it but yet as a human you continue to do it and no other animals will do that so if you think a lion right if he feels tired or if he feels like he's too hot you know, he's either gonna go to sleep, right? So that will get rid of his tiredness. Or if he's too hot, he'll go and sit in the shade. You know, that is his, that is his intuitive feeling. He doesn't ignore it. Whereas humans just ignore their intuitive feelings. And that's 
why so many people, especially young men, are feeling so negative all the time and have these intrusive thoughts is because they're not actually living in alignment with themselves. So when you wake up, just for one day, right, for one day, and I guarantee you want to do it again the next day, just do something that a human would do, you know, go outside, go for a walk, breathe in some fresh air, and actually listen to your inner voice for once. Do something that is in alignment with what it means to be a human. And actually going aside now slightly from going out into nature, I just wanna mention how in this modern world it has become almost as though to feel like you're doing something productive or to feel like you're actually achieving in this world, you need to be feeling stressed. And if you're not feeling stressed, you're not being productive. That's what the world likes to promote. And it's quite a weird trap to fall into and it's actually really unhealthy. You know, stress is an absolute killer, bro, and it is actually counterproductive. You know, it's one of the worst things that you can feel as a human and it leads to so many other illnesses and diseases and it really just destroys your brain and makes you feel like you are inadequate. So actually what you want to be doing is actually getting yourself away from feeling stressed before you start to feel stressed. So that's why coming out into the morning and enjoying this is so beneficial because you're eliminating that stress before it even has a chance of getting to you. And as I said earlier, the happiness that I currently feel now lasts throughout the day, which makes me more productive and makes me more creative and makes my work a better standard. You know, I'm able to really unload my mind and speak into the camera right now. I find that when I'm at home, I don't necessarily flow with my thoughts as well, but currently I'm just talking off the top of my head and everything just feels so natural. It feels so easy. And that's because there's no stress here. You know, I'm relaxed. I'm literally sitting on a hammock right, in the woods and I'm alone. I'm in peace. There's literally a river right there. Hopefully you can hear it, but I don't know if you can. Um, but it's really beautiful, you know? And my question to you is, how often do you come to a place like this? There must be a woods near where you live. There must be somewhere nice that you can go and visit and actually feel like a human. You know, I keep referring to that in this video, but it's very true. When was the last time that you did something like that? When was the last time you didn't wake up and immediately go on your phone and scroll? Even if you do that for 60 seconds a day, that's still taking away brain power. You know, your brain is its most malleable when it wakes up in the morning. So that means that you literally start your day as you mean to go on. If you start your day with positivity and nature, that's why it lasts throughout the day. If you start your day by going straight on your phone and reading and consuming shitty news, that's why you'll, more, you'll be more than likely to feel like utter asshole throughout the day. So basically, ma'am, just start the day as you mean to go on, bro, okay? Go for a walk, go to the park, get outside, get rid of stress before the stress gets you. Wake up with a real meaning, right? And it will last with you throughout the entire day. And of course, don't forget to regularly fuel your body with nutritious food that will actually help you feel more awake and focused and give you a chiseled physique. And if you don't even know where to begin with that, as I mentioned at the start of this video, you can get more advice from me by getting my free diet plan in the description below. Believe you can, and you're more than halfway there.